In tonight's video, we're going to pit Checkpoint up against Fortinet. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Mike here from Fortinet Guru. Now I know, the last time we had a vendor versus Fortinet competition, it ended up being Palo versus Fortinet. And they came in pretty close as far as, you know, where you would rate them. The only thing that they really differed on drastically was price. So today we're going to do the same kind of breakdown, but this time we're going to discuss vendor that is checkpoint. So that might seem a little facetious the way I said it, but believe it or not, checkpoint does still make firewalls. They don't just do cloud access security brokers like what I know them for now, because that's what they're trying to sell everybody. So we'll start with the Fortinet first something we're all very versed in. I mean, after all, the channel is dedicated to that vendor. Things to consider. Fortinet firewalls are fast. Fortinet firewalls are feature-filled devices that are low cost. Fortinet devices also cover the entire stack from your border all the way down to your endpoint. It doesn't matter if you're using a FortiGate a Forta switch, a Forta AP, or a Forta client, a Forta NAC, a Forta recorder, you can cover everything with it. But since this discussion is going to be more so along the lines of firewall, let's just stay there. Fortinet firewalls are very, very reliable. They are available not only in hardware appliance form, but as we all know, they're also available as uh, software, virtual machines, things like that. You can load it on Hyper-V, KVM, whatever hypervisor you have, or you can throw it in Azure and AWS. So you have that going for you. We covered this before, but the Fortinet only costs $2 per protected megabit. That's the best bang per buck you can get. And their security effectiveness rating on NSS Labs comes in at a 99.3%. There's only one other vendor that does better, and that's Forcepoint. And they don't even do that much better, but they are ahead. So I'll give them where they're, you know, credit where they're due. The Fortinet devices, you know, their clients rate them at about a 4.5, 4.6. We discussed that already. You guys know that. And if you're looking for a product that is a good quality product that'll do stuff for you, Fortinet's what you want for a bang for buck. Um, Checkpoint, on the other hand, blocked everything NSS Labs threw at it, but somehow still scored a 25% on their security effectiveness rating. They were tied for last. And not only were they tied for last, but they were tied for last with Sophos. I'm probably never ever going to talk to you about a Sophos firewall. It's almost like SonicWall. Oof. Anyways. NSS Lab's security effectiveness rating covers things like um, block rate, and it multiplies it because it's an algorithm. It multiplies it by uh, evasion rate and then reliability and things like that. So since it blocked everything, you have to assume that the device failed miserably somewhere else. 25%, guys, come on. The checkpoint firewall is fast. But for what you're paying for it, you can get a significantly faster FortiGate. Which, before we talk about speed, let's jump back in on price. Now our Palo Alto equivalent came out at roughly $7 per protected megabit. Fortinet's hovering around two. Guess what checkpoint came in at? Six? No, no. More expensive than Palo, even though it's not as good of a product? Yeah, Checkpoint came in at a whopping $13 per protected megabit. Now, I don't know what you get for all that money. Maybe some good quality support because they do, their clients do rate their products well. Good management interface, fast, support is relatively decent. Better than Fortinet's because, you know, if Fortinet's support was good, I'd be broke. But outside of that, you're paying $13 per protected megabit for a device that scores second to last in NSS Labs. 
I usually end up laughing checkpoint right out of the office when they come by. But I don't blame them for trying. At $13 per protected megabit, you know they're lining their pockets. They have to be. So any, you know, gullible person that they talk into it, that's just money for them. So back to speed. For what you're paying for the checkpoint appliance, you could get a FortiGate that's seven times faster. Just think about that. $2 versus 13. Or a power that's twice as fast. Seven versus 13. Their devices are available both as physical appliance, virtual machine, and cloud-driven product. So you do have that scalability there. But I have a hard time recommending something that's going to be so damn expensive. I'm a business owner. And on top of that, I buy products for organizations all the time. I am a lowest cost technically accept technically acceptable. Lowest cost technically acceptable. Yeah. That's what I shoot for. Because I would rather be able to roll that money into support, further network upgrades, quality security, whether it's an information security program or something along those lines. So at the end of the day, it's Fortinet and Palo at top. Cisco might come in third, but they're only worthwhile if you already have their stack and you're integrating with ICE and everything else. And once you add all that together, damn, that's just as expensive. We'll do a video on Cisco later. Just know that if I were you, I'd probably avoid, and this is a personal opinion, I would avoid the checkpoint. Now their cloud access security broker, maybe check that out. It's not going to be as good as McAfee's or anything like that. Cisco's is actually pretty damn good. But, you know, it is what it is. Avoid them from a firewall perspective. I'd almost recommend SonicWall over them. If you like videos like this and you'd like to see more, do me a favor. Hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, and the notify bell for you.